So you don't have the ID of the top UI frame in NativeScript, and you want to get a hold of it programmatically. How do you do that? Not a problem. In this video, I'll show you how to do that, and that's coming right up. Hey folks, welcome back. This is Alex. Aloha. Nice. Earlier this week, I posted a tutorial on getting the top UI frame and differentiating that between the topmost frame and the top UI frame, because they're not always the same. Check that tutorial out if you haven't seen it. I'll link to it down below in the description. In today's tip, I'm gonna show you another method for finding the top UI frame, even if you don't have its ID handy. All right, let's take a look. Basically, if you are working with multiple frames, and I have a tutorial on that here as well, then calling topmost is not always going to give you what you expect, which is the topmost UI frame. So we ended up the last tutorial where I showed you how to get the correct frame by assigning an ID to the frames and then pulling the frame out that you need by using the ID and the get frame by ID function, which comes from the frame module. Whew, that's just to summarize it. That's a perfectly valid way of doing it. But what if you don't want to assign an ID to all your frames? And what if you're dynamically creating frames? You might not always want to have magic strings or maintain those IDs in a separate place. Well, for that, there is a nice little function that I've created that might help you out to get the topmost UI frame. And I'm going to stop using the word topmost because I don't want you to confuse it with this topmost function. I'm going to call it get top UI frame. So in this demo that I've created with you in the last tutorial, I'm just going to create a new file here called utils. And here I'm going to export a function called get top UI frame. This function is going to be responsible for returning to us a frame that's at the very top of the UI hierarchy. This is different than topmost, as I've explained previously. And let's go ahead and import the frame. That's coming from TNS core modules UI frame. Now here I want to return the frame, but I want to look at the entire structure, the hierarchy of all the frames that we could possibly have in our app and find it dynamically. So I'm going to create another function here called get parent frame. This is going to take a frame as a parameter and return another frame. And we're going to do a quick check here. If this frame that we passed in has a page, that means it's not the frame at the top of the hierarchy, right? So we're going to return get parent frame. I'm calling the same exact function recursively, and I'm going to pass in frame.page.frame into that. Otherwise, if frame does not have a page, then this is the topmost frame. So I'm going to return frame here. And this get top UI frame is just going to call get parent frame and pass in whatever the topmost at that moment is. And let's just return here. There is our little util function to get the top UI frame. I'm going to take this function here and copy it. And let's go back to main page. And over here, when we tap the button and go to page two, you see here that we print out app root frame here. Instead of that, I'm going to do two console logs for comparison. One is going to print out the topmost ID. Here we're going to get the topmost and print out its ID. This is something you've seen before and you've seen the topmost actually changes based on the context. And then I'm going to print out get top UI frame ID. And this one is going to be get top UI frame dot ID. And I need to import this function from util. Let's check this out. Let's go back to uh, our console here and I'm gonna tap on this button here and it's going to print out topmost ID is app root frame and then get top UI frame is app root frame. Fine, now we're on page two, I'm gonna tap here. You can see that we've changed the topmost to root page frame, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna go back to main page and do our tap here again. And here you'll see the difference. Topmost ID is now root page frame instead of what it used to be, app root frame. However, our function that we've just created, our recursive function call is gonna get us that app root frame. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. It's just an additional step that you can take without having to traverse the hierarchy of the frames and get that top UI frame that you need because you know you need it. All right, let's take a look at some of your comments. Today, we'll look at this tutorial about how to do data binding using value in NativeScript, dollar value. As you know, dollar value is not actually a thrift store. It's a way that you can access the binding context in your markup, in your views. So I go into the ins and outs of that in that tutorial check that out. I'll link to it down below. Jesus Adan says, I have a question. 
Does in Angular, can you do the same thing? Thanks. Well, in Angular, you don't really need that because you're using the ng template. And in ng template, you're already specifying what you want the variable to be. So you usually say something like let item equals item, where you're naming that variable item. And then inside of that template, you can use that variable that you've just named item. Phew. So you don't really need dollar value there. And Likit says your course, nativescripting.com is good but a bit expensive compared to Udemy. If reduced price, will better, thank. Well, Liki, just to clarify, nativescripting.com actually has free courses to get you started with NativeScript. We have three or four free courses at this point in different areas, Angular, Core, then there's a free course that has to do with converting from Cordova to NativeScript, and then there's a Convey Chat free course, so there's a bunch of free content there. And then there's the pro courses, which are advanced courses, which are courses you won't be able to find on Udemy anyway. So Udemy is to get you started. They charge for those courses over there as well. Uh, the courses that are, are native scripting are a little bit more advanced, intermediate to advanced level. There's also student discounts available and discounts available to those countries where the dollar is not as strong. So if you need options like that, nativescripting.com can offer you those options. All right, thanks for your comments, folks, and I'll see you in the next one.